Uh, a couple quick notes. Uh, I love all these cameras, love all the film, but uh, the one thing about that as an artist is when hands are here, they're not here. So let's make sure that we uh, acknowledge and give that support as well uh, because uh, it's not as fun to clap in front of YouTube later on when you're watching it, all right? So let's give them lots of love and support. Um, uh, my name is Mike. I taught sketch all week. And I'll uh, let the other I'm teachers... Huey. I taught music improv. I'm Celeste, and I taught improv. Oh. Great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So the show that you, you will see today will be a combination of all those things. Um, so uh, I think we should get started. Uh, one of the challenges of sketch uh, camp is, uh, is uh, doing satire, finding ways to poke fun at the world around us. And uh, these kids here have definitely found a target. Uh, so let's get in position for our first sketch, you guys. All right. Now on day one, I asked them to think of, uh, of uh, places where you guys go while they are here. Um, and so what we have done is this first sketch takes place at a summer camp across town so that while the children are here learning how to do sketch, music, and improv, they imagine that all of you are across town learning to be stronger parents, all right? So we take you now to parent class 101. All right, parents, good. I gave you guys some homework yesterday. It was to practice putting your foot down, all right? So, uh, we went over this yesterday, but let's all practice saying no, because when we pick up our students from Second City, we wanna make sure that we can tell them no. All right, Gus, let's see, uh, you, have a parent, you have a child over at Second City, let's see your uh, best no. No. Okay, with a little more backbone. <laughs> no. Okay, you're still doing the thing with your knees. A little more back home. No. There you go. Way to put that foot down, Gus. All right, Indigo, same thing. Let's hear your best no. No, thank you. Mm, okay, you're being very polite at the end there, all right? Let's see your strongest no. No, thank you. Uh, still doing the exact same thing. All right, let's hear that no. No. Good. Foot's down, fingers out. Excellent. Azalea, let's hear your strongest no. Bo. That's Bo. Let's hear you say no. No. Very good. Second try. <laughs> nice. All right. Raya, action. Nahayo. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's a different language. All right. And a totally different word. And say no. Nahayo. Okay. All right. Sounds like no, but no. No, are you happy now? <laughs> I'm not happy, but that was very good. All right. Great. And Ella, let's hear your best no. No. Okay, but not like a mouse. <laughs> no. Actually, you know what? Whatever my kid did, I'm sure I can forgive them. Oh, I'm all sure right. Forgive. Good no at the beginning, but a lot of backsliding at the end. <laughs> you guys, good job. These students, step to the back. All right. Those students got some Bs. Now, I know you parents are a little more uh, authoritative, so we're going to practice a little bit of something a little stronger. I want you to practice your best because I said so. All right? Now we all talked about how parents like to say because I said so and not follow up with the explanation behind it. So let's see how well you guys can do. Give me your best because I said so. Because I love you. Okay, close, but remember we're being authoritative. Okay, good. Because you love me. We're almost there. Because I said so. Oh, I understand now. Great. Because I so said. All right, moving on. Leo, give it your best. Because I said mo. Okay, no, not mo, so. Because I said do. Nope, let's try it again, because I said so. Because I said so. Oh, you're just copying me. All right, moving on. Let's see your best, Isabel. Okay, a little louder. Okay, that was even quieter, a little louder. Okay, great, that would definitely work for me, yes, and. Because I said go. Not go, so. So. Okay, but put it all together. Because I said sew your clothes. <laughs> sew your clothes? No! You're not making new clothes? Alright, Hayden, please tell me you can get this. So said I so because. Uh, <laughs> Alright, just put it in the right order. So said I because so said I. You just added words to it. Alright, next! Alright, C students, good. You guys are exhausting. Okay, the final one, the classic go to your room, alright? That means that we are definitely in charge here. Let me hear it. Go to your rainbow room. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know you have a very nice house with lots of rainbows in it, but that's not where we're sending them. Where are we sending them? Go to your doom. <laughs> Whoa, too much, all right, too much, all right. Toby, give me your best, go to your room. Go to your room. 
catching up. Toby, I know it's hard being a parent sometimes, but you can't emotionally break down. Try it again. <laughs> Go get me a tissue. Oh boy, all right. <laughs> Tabitha. Go to my room. No, 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 go to their room. Go to their room. No, 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 go to your room. Go to your room. Okay, good, 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 Rex. <laughs> okay, all right, some of the Toby effects, okay, great, great. All right, all right, but remember, we're gonna be strong. Go to your room. Let me sleep on the couch. <laughs> well, where does your kid sleep? The master bedroom. Oh boy! You're in even more trouble than I thought. All right, finally, all my hope's on you, Josh. Go to your room. Goat eat room. Goat eat room? That doesn't make sense. How could a goat eat a room? No, a giant goat ate my house. Oh, brother, that's it. You guys are all failed. Yeah.